Leslie, how much should a young couple be saving? Well, we've all heard the save 10% rule, and this is of your gross income, okay. which is a lot. But it turns out these days, you need to save almost 15 to 20% of everything that you're earning in order to uh, prepare for your ultimate retirement. 15 to 20% is a very tall order to fill, and that's Huge. where leveraging employee-sponsored retirement programs can be right. helpful. Right, so always, always make sure you're maxing out on your, your company pension plan if that's you have one. Right. That's right. There's very few investments we can demonstrate to a client, for example, that has a guaranteed rate of return. And then you move down the stack to saving on taxes through RRSPs and tax-free savings accounts. So how can I own a house in, in some of the expensive cities in the country and save that much? Well, maybe you don't. Maybe instead you rent and use what you would have saved to actually beef up your RSP and your tax-free savings account. This is very account. interesting because people always portray renting as financially irresponsible, but if you just mapped it away, I can rent, and that enables me to be a good saver. That's right. I don't think renting is out of, uh, out of the context of good, prudent financial management. It fits the budget of a lot of people. Okay, so in closing, you may have to rent to save how much you need to save. Absolutely. Thanks, Leslie.